This video discusses what internet metering is, as well as why it might be turned on on a Windows device. So recently we've had a bunch of people asking why they're getting this pop-up on their computer saying, hey, your internet metered connection is you know, running out of storage and blah, blah, blah. Basically little error messages, weird little pop-ups they've never seen. And it's something they never enabled, so they are curious why it got turned on in the first place. Um, the most important thing is to know where to turn it off if it does get turned on. So if you open up the Windows icon and click on the settings cog, you'll get here to the Windows settings. And from here, you can say network and internet. And then this is gonna show you your current network connection. From there, you just wanna click on change connection properties because that's where the metered setting is and once you're in there it automatically takes you to the metered connection if that's turned on and you didn't turn it on and you don't want it to be on you just toggle it off and then you can close this window and that will save what is important to also know is why you might actually use that um, one example you might use is if you're traveling somewhere and you have a limited data plan, oftentimes people travel with a laptop or a tablet and they have um, a data plan on their phone, is usually how you're getting it, and you only have so much data per day, otherwise you pay more money. And so what you can do is you can come in here and say you have 10 gigs a day, you could come in here and you could set, or even for your week or whatever, however the period of time works for you. You could set your metered connection, set a limit, make the limit on that laptop less than what your actual plan is because this is going to be running if you're tethering it to your smartphone this is important because the smartphone's also using data so it's going to use data to pull in your email and your social media any apps that you haven't said only update when I open them um, are going to be updating in the background you won't notice that data usage and then anything that you know you, if you leave that open anything that you also open is going to be pulling down data. So it might be weather or maps or whatever it may be. So you definitely want to set this limit if you're going to use this for that. Set this limit, you know, at least 10 or 20 percent less than what your actual limit is. I would err on the side of caution and say at least 20 percent um, because then that will keep you from overusing on your computer and not leaving any left for your phone. But that's how a metered connection can actually be helpful and where it might be useful. It's just that if it got accidentally turned on um, or enabled, I should say, uh, during a Windows update and you didn't do that, it's important to know how to turn that off. So that's what a Windows um, metered connection, internet connection is and why you may actually use it and how you can turn it off if you don't want to use it.